there is a lot of optimization videos going around on YouTube. I've even made one. I've made two. But this one should end it all for you. You shouldn't need another video after this one. And I'm making it as simple as dragging and dropping a file into Call of Duty to fully optimize your game. Let's hop into it. So this first advanced options file I'm going to be giving you guys is a quality file. It is made to give you the most FPS without the game looking any worse than extreme graphics. It looks incredible. The game looks amazing and I get high FPS in Warzone. I get about 200 frames per second with this. You're seeing here a multiplayer and shipment. Shipment is kind of hard to judge because there's so much going on. So the FPS drops so much. So this is more so just to show you the quality of it. Not so much the FPS. I promise one of these will give you the FPS boost you're looking, but this file is made for higher end PCs. And when I say higher end, I'm talking maybe even the newer 40 series cards and the newer Ryzen cards or AMD cards or whatever you want to call them. I'm not an AMD user, so that's that. I will put my PC specs down below so you know what I use. And I've been currently using this preset right now. Now, let's look at the other preset. Now, this preset is made for max FPS. This has been tweaked, perfected in so many ways. It, it, I promise you will see an FPS boost from this preset itself. In shipment again, you won't see much difference as everything is happening at once. There's obviously a notable difference between the last video and this video, but your results will vary this preset will be better for you. And again, I've made this as simple as possible for you. So let me show you how you're gonna do it. So first off, there's going to be a link in the description. And within that link, it's going to take you to this page. This is a Google, this is my Google Drive. I have two folders here for you. MW2 best quality, so this is the higher red PC one and then MW2 max FPS. If you click on this, you will see you can open it. You will download that and I will show you what to do with it. It's the same with this one. You can download both of them and try them if you want. It's completely up to you. However, for most of you, this MW2 max FPS is going to be what you're looking for. I promise you will see it performance gains here. So keep that in mind. Now, let me show you how you do this. So first open up your file explorer, go to documents, and then I would open up a second file explorer, put them side by side like this, right? So you're gonna wanna go into your call of duty, documents, call of duty, players, and then right here is what we're changing. So you're gonna wanna take out this, this one. You're gonna wanna find your other one. My other one is in my documents. Yours will be in your Chrome downloads or wherever your downloads go, that's where it's gonna be. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna drag this one that's in your Call of Duty file, drag it to your desktop and keep it there, save it. If you wanna put it somewhere else, put it wherever you want. And then you're gonna wanna drag and drop the downloaded one that you just got from the drive right here. You're gonna drag and drop that right in. Now, one thing to keep in mind, so I'll open this up. These are advanced settings completely tuned for you, okay? Some things will change for you and you might have to change them in game because it's all set up for mine and I'm not gonna go through and mess with it. You can just do it in game. I don't know if your full screen resolution is gonna change or your refresh rate for monitor is gonna change. So you might have to be in game and you might have to change that. Other than that, there will be one more thing you will need to change and it's thread count for handling the job queue. You, I made a video on this, I'll link it down below. You have to find this. Okay, so let's talk about this a little bit because I've come across new findings. So the idea was to set this number to your core count with your CPU or GPU, right? So if we open my task manager here, you will see in my performance, my CPU has 16 cores. So half of them is what you were supposed to use. 
So this, I set this to eight in my last video. That's what I recommended. Eight. So I did eight and it was all right, but I went down to five and I saw a noticeable improvement. This number is going to vary by person by CPU. If you have an Intel Core i9-12900K in your PC, you want this set to five. Make sure you edit these. This is very important. Make sure you edit these before you open up the game. Find this number and you'll be good to go. I could even edit it out. I think I will edit it out for you guys it's just to make sure that it, it grabs whatever it is because I don't want you to use this and then your game starts running sluggishly because you didn't change this thing. But other than that, I will just make it drag and drop for you guys. So you'll just be able to drag and drop, start your game, and it will go to it. But I still recommend you look into this setting. Thread count for handling the job queue. It seems to be everywhere. If I was you and you really want to find max performance, I would start at three. Start your game, play a game, close the game. Make sure you take note of the performance, go to four and then so on. Just keep going up one by one until you see a degrade in performance or a big increase in performance. That's what I did. I went from four to 11 with mine and five was the best. So it's really up to you. I would check it out, do it. And in order to get this, just click the link in my description down below. And then it will take you to this page right here. And then you will choose. Remember, this one is for higher end PCs. Again, like higher end. Um, if you have a PC that's fully capable of running this game with this, I'm pulling about to 190 FPS. We'll say we'll say 180 to 200 frames per second in Warzone with this quality running. And I'm not streaming or recording. Sometimes I stream right here on YouTube, so subscribe for that. And then uh, this one is made for max FPS. It degrades the game quality a lot. However, it does increase visibility and it definitely increases FPS. So, and that's that. If you guys have any questions, make sure you drop a link or a question, not a link, a question down below. Drop a like on this video for me. I would greatly appreciate it more than you would know. And if you're interested in more Call of Duty content or FPS content, I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty lately. I used to play a lot of Valorant, but this YouTube is made just for that. Then make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And again, drop a question down below. I'll try to answer it for you. I'm gonna fix these and make them as easy as possible for you just to drag and drop them so you don't have to adjust anything. Besides the thread count thing, you should definitely look at. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I really hope this helps you get the FPS you're looking for. I'll see you in the next one. Doses.